Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com. What composer likes tea the most? Tchaikovsky. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I want to talk today about something that's pretty basic. Um, a lot of you that have been using Bitwig for a while already know how to do this, but for somebody that's brand new to Bitwig Studio, I wanted to go over this really quickly just because there are a couple little gotchas that I wanted to go over. It is how to import tracks into Bitwig to make a remix. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Bitwig Studio, have a, a brand new project open completely blank. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I've got these files that I downloaded as part of a remix contest, and I can, if I want to, just take them one by one, but it's easier just to take the whole thing and drag that over just like that. And so uh, be careful, don't put it over here because what that does is it creates a sampler or individual tracks for each of these with the sampler in each one. We don't want that, we just want the raw audio in here. So just drag it into the arranger view over here. And once I've done that, you can see it drops all of those in. And so if I listen to it now, it's gonna sound a little bit janky because I haven't done anything yet as far as the tempo. So let's just look at that for a second. If I click on each clip, you'll see that it kind of guessed at the tempo for each one. This one says 129.29, this one 77.32, 160, uh, 79.79, which is actually the closest because uh, part of this contest, they provided the tempo that each of these stems should be at. And so I'm gonna just double, or you know, click the first one and then shift click to select all of them. And down here where it says tempo, I can just drag it down or I can just double click and type 80, which is what I know it should be at. Okay, so if I drag the tempo down to 80, that's what they sounded like originally. But, you know, part of what I want to do maybe is speed it up. So I'm going to put it at 122. And now if I listen, it's stretching it just like we would expect. Now, when you're doing that, um, stretch, the elastic settings are newer. And um, from all accounts, they do a better job of the, of the stretching. I like Elastic Pro. For me, it's worked well and seems to be pretty, pretty smooth, um, even at somewhat extreme settings. So I'll just do that, change all these to Elastic Pro. Okay. The other thing that I like to do is, and this is just me personally, my workflow, I'll select all these and I'll press Control G to put them all into a group and maybe control R, rename that, just call it original stems. And then when I wanna work with one, so say I wanna work with the bass, I will just take this and drag it to a new track, maybe control drag to, to copy it. And then I can put this up in my mix. And what that allows me to do is I can keep all these, oh, how'd I do that? Anyways, what that allows me, allows me to do is to, um, I must have control dragged again. Anyways, it allows me to keep all of these in a group that I can mute. Oops, mute the group so that I can, when I'm working with my own remix, I don't have to hear what the original song sounded like. I can just listen to what I'm doing. Or if I want to keep kind of the same arrangement, Maybe I could just go part by part and say, okay, I've got my bass. I'm going to do my own thing up here. So I'm going to mute out the bass down here and then I can listen to all the tracks except the bass and just have my own bass part going up here to see how that sounds together. Um, however you want to do it, I just prefer keeping all the original stems here so that I can, if I need to rework them or, or do multiple copies, I can go back to the, to the original, original source. 
And then of course I can click on this folder to collapse it so I don't have to see those the whole time and just save some real estate for my own stuff going on up here. I think that's all I had for you. I hope this helps. Like I said, this is really just for beginners. Um, somebody that's not really familiar with Bitwig Studio, if that's you, I hope this has helped. If you like this video, definitely click on the like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, I always look forward to hearing from you guys. So please leave something in the comment section down below. Finally, if you haven't had a chance, please go to my website. I've got a free download for you there. It's called How to Accelerate Your Music Making in Bitwig Studio. It's, like I said, it's a free download. It's at bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. Again, bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. Um, go grab that if you have a chance. And otherwise, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.